And now, we are going to present to you a subtopic from application of differentiation, which is applied maximum and minimum. What is applied maximum and minimum? Applied maximum and minimum is the process of finding maximum or minimum values is called optimization. We are trying to do things like maximize the profit in a company or minimize the cost or find the least amount of material to make a particular object. There are five steps you need to follow. Number one, draw a level. Number two, find a formula. Number three, Use the condition state, express it to be a function of one variable. Then, you should substitute to the formula and find the interval in the problems. Lastly, locate the value to the function from step 3. So, question 1. The diagram shows a window in the shape of a rectangle with semicircle on the top. The perimeter of the window is 4 meters. Then, answer the question below. A. Express H in terms of X. B. Show that the area of the window is given by A equal to 16X minus 4X square minus 5X square divided by A. C. Determine the maximum area of the window. For the first question, question A. Express H in term of X. So, for the first step, we need to make an equation that contains the variable of H and X. Refer to the question, the question stated that the perimeter of the window is 4 meter. So, we can make an equation from the information given. And we got the equation is 4 equal to 2H plus X plus pi multiplied by X over 2. And solve the equation until we got the equation of H in term of X. For the final answer, we got H equal to 8 minus 2X minus 5X divided by 4. For the next question, question B. Show that the area of the window is given by A equal to 16X minus 4x square minus 5x square divided by e. When the question said show, we need to get the final answer as same as the question. So for the first step, we need to determine what is the area formula of the window. So the area formula of the window is a equal to xh plus pi multiplied by x over 2 square divided by 2. Then, solve the equation until we got the final answer as same as the equation. And we got the final answer is A equal to 16x minus 4x square minus 5x square divided by A. The final answer is same as the question. So, the area of the window is proven. So, for the last question, question C. Determine the maximum area of the window. So, for the first step, we need to find the maximum value of X and H. So, from question B, we can use the equation given to find the maximum value of X. The equation is A equal to 16X minus 4X square minus 5X square divided by A. Then, differentiate the equation using quotient rule. What is the formula of quotient rule? The formula of quotient rule is dA over dx is equal to vu prime minus uv prime divided by d square. Then identify the value of u, u prime, v and v prime. The value of u is 16x minus 4x square minus 5x square. Then we got the u prime is 16 minus 8x minus 2 pi x and the value of V is 8 and we got the value of V prime is 0. Then substitute the value of U, U prime, V 
V and V prime into the Bosch rule. After substitute the value, we got the dA over dx is equal to 128 minus 64x minus 65x divided by 64. To find the maximum value of x, we need to do the dA over dx is equal to 0. Then, we got the maximum value of x which is x is equal to 1.12 meter. To find the maximum value of h from question A, we got the equation of h which is h is equal to 8 minus 2x minus 5x divided by 4. Then, substitute the value of x and we got the maximum value of h which is h is equal to 0.56 meter. To find the maximum area of the window, we need to use the equation of xh plus pi multiplied by x over 2 square divided by 2. Substitute the maximum value of x and h and we got the maximum area of the window which is 1.12 meter square. What is the conclusion that we have? In the conclusion, we can conclude that minimum and maximum problems can solve using second derivative test. Had it not been given, all problems were solved purely using step by step that we show until last step using second derivative. Therefore, the first thing we should do is we must understand the requirement of the question given. Then we can find a formula or method that fits the question given. Other than that, application of apply maximum and minimum are widely used in real life. The process of finding maximum and minimum values is called optimization or trying to do things like maximize the profit in a company or minimize the cost of finding the less amount of material to make a particular object. Many kind of industries using this method to solve their problems such as business platform to count their profit either is maximum or minimum. Thanks for watching.